In Read, Write, Roar, we are going to learn about community helpers that keep our bodies healthy. Medical helpers. We are also going to practice keeping the germs away and teach you how to do it too. Let's go Read, Write, Roar. This program is made possible in part by the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, Elaine Stern Foundation, Donald and Mary Kosh, Lauren and Philip Fisher, the State of Michigan, and by viewers like you. Thank you. Children, welcome to Read, Write, Roar. Can you all do that with me? Read, Write, Roar. We're going to start by singing a song. And this song is called, This is the Way We Wash Our Hands. Oh, so let's do it, Betty. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands so early in the morning. This song said this is the way we wash our hands early in the morning, but when else should we wash our hands? Like early. afternoon. Afternoon? No, when it's dinner time. Morning. Dinner time, we wash our hands at dinner time. Why else do you have to wash your hands? Because um, hmm. uh, we play in the mud. If you play in the mud, that's a good time to wash. Yes, but that would be good. And sand. What if I did this? Ha -choo. What should I do? Wash my hands. What? What? And why would I wash my hands? Dirty. Dirty, because what gets on them? Germs. Germs. And germs sometimes make us sick. sick. So I'm going to ask you a question about being sick. And if you've ever been sick before, Me? raise your hand. So if you've ever been sick, raise your hand. All right, put your hands down. So if you got a Band-Aid, touch your nose. If you got a shot before, touch your belly. And if you are very thankful that we have medical professionals that help us feel better, touch your heart. You all just told me about some of the medical professionals that help to keep you healthy. Let's go over some that I have on my board, and then we're going to read about them in this book. Tell me about what you think about doctor. this person. A doctor. doctor. Yeah, what do you know about doctors? Doctors make you better. They make you better? Doc doctors give you medicine. They are the people that prescribe your treatment plan. You're right. They are the doctor. ones that can tell you what medicine you need. What about this person here? Tell me about what you know. Zoe? No, no, I know. Nurse. I know. Zoe, Zoe. A nurse. And then tell me, what do you know about nurses? They make you feel better, too. The nurse is a medical helper, and they actually observe you, so they might come in and they follow the doctor's order, and they give you the treatment that you need. So they'll help follow what the doctor says you need. Tell me about this person. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. They make your eyes better. They do. When you're blind. It's an optometrist. Can you all say that? Say optometrist. Optometrist. Yeah, an optometrist starts with an O. And it makes an ah sound. You can make it like this. Ah, ah. ah. And if you make two of them, like Oliver. And then, look. Binoculars. Like binoculars or glasses. What do you know about this person? I, I can't see. Do you remember what you said? This was the person um, that you talked about that helps with your teeth. Yeah. But we eat too much candy. Even if you eat a lot of sugar, what's something you should probably do when you get done eating a lot of sugar? Um, um, uh, you have to this. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, and you'll get that information from a dentist. Say dentist. Dentist. Yes, dentist. If you've been to the dentist before, touch your nose. And then this last person here, that's a pharmacist. Everybody say pharmacist. Pharmacist. Yeah, and this is the person that gives you the medicine that the doctor ordered. This book is called Community Helpers Then and Now by Bobby Kalman. And we're going to learn about medical helpers. And those are all the people that we listen to here. And when you hear me say the names of one of these medical helpers, um, let's say them all again. You're going to raise your hand. So say doctor. Doctor. Nurse. Nurse. Optometrist. Optometrist. Dentist. Dentist. Pharmacist. Pharmacist. So if I say the word doctor, what are you going to do? Raise your hand. Yep. Medical helpers. Medical helpers are nurses, dentists, and many kinds of doctors, ah, you got it, who treat different body parts, such as our eyes or teeth. The pharmacist at the drugstore is another important helper because he or she gives you the medicine you need to get well. An optometrist checks your eyes and tells you if you need glasses. He or she then makes the glasses you need. How often do you visit your dentist? Yeah. Oh, I see a question mark. What do you think? 
why is the dentist on the left wearing gloves and a face mask? Zoe, why are this? Because she doesn't want to get germs. Doesn't want to get your germs. Medical helpers long ago, this is what they used to do that they don't do anymore. In the old days, the same doctor that treated your illness also looked after your teeth and your eyes. He often traveled from one small community to another to help sick people. In those days, people did not know that germs caused many diseases. In fact, people thought that taking too many baths could make them sick. Doctors often passed along diseases because they did not wash their hands or the instruments or tools they used. Long ago, doctors did not have offices. They came to see sick patients at their homes. This doctor is visiting a sick child. Why might this child be afraid? Tell me. Because he, he, because he just want to get germs. Because you think he might be giving his germs? Because what did the doctors a long time ago think? So let me read it one more time. Doctors often believe that people got sick because they took too many baths. And they also passed along disease because they did not wash their hands or their instruments. I know, I know, I know. Did they think you should wash your hands? No, not a long time ago. Go like this. No, they did no, not yeah. think you should wash yeah. hands. We learned something new. Zoe, what do we know now? You can don't eat a lot of sugar. Don't eat a lot of sugar. And what should you do? You should wash your... You have, to, you, have to, you have to eat vegetables. Eat vegetables. And make it and, yep, and Yasmin, tell me one more thing. What do we learn? Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. I, All right, good listen, everybody. We just learned a lot about different medical professionals. Let's say them one more time. Doctor. Doctor. Nurse. Well, I'll say nurse. Optometrist. Optometrist. Dentist. 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 Pharmacist. Pharmacist. to remind you all of something. Remember when we read in this book yeah. that a long time ago it said that doctors um, pass along diseases because they did not wash their hands? Yeah, we have to do something to make sure people remember how to wash their hands. That's right. So we're going to make this sign. So this sign says how to wash your hands. So let's think about there's going to be four steps that people have to follow to wash their hands. The first one will be Hmm. Water. Yeah. Water your hands. Oh. No, I don't. I don't. Soap. Well, look at the picture right here. What are they doing first? Water. 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 Uh, well, after you, after you get soap. Yeah. Soap. So I will say, um, get water. How many words is that? Get Two. what? Two. So let's write it out. So, get water. G. So G. G. Get G. water. And that says with a W, water. So that's the first thing we need to do is we need to get water. What's the second thing? Quincy, soap. you said soap. 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 So what do we need to do with the soap? You have to, you have to do soap, Two. soap, just put the soap over here and scrub. So put on soap. How many words is that? Put what? on soap. Three. three. Oh, I, I was trying to say three. You are a few said three. Ready? Put on soap. Soap. So come on over, Quincy. I'm going to have you write the first letter as a p, p, p. You'll be next. Do you know how to make a P? A P is a straight line, yeah. So make it right here. And then make a curve. I, I, know, I already know how to draw that. Oh, you do. All right. So I'm going to... Yep. Just, like that, just, like just like that. So it's going to be put on. And then, Quincy, what did you say we have to put on? Soap. 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 What sound do you hear for soap? C. C. It could be a C. It's also the other letter that makes that sound is also an S. So let's put on soap. Do you make it? A, a, a poo? Mm -hmm. Make it the, the letter S. S. All right, go ahead. It's like an X. It goes up, down, around, and up again. Do you want some help or you got it? I got it. Right okay, there. you do. Mm. Yep. Go down, up, and look at that. That's your S. We're going to put on soap. All right, Zoe, what are they doing in this one? Scrub. Scrub. All right, that's it. That's one word, so let me make your line. Oh, hold on, I know. I got to make your line because we know it's one word. All right, make your S for scrub. S. S. And it will be my turn? Yep, and then go around. 
And this way. Way. Come down this way. And then follow my finger, go this way. And end right here. There you go. <laughs> you got an S scrub. And then Yasmin, what's the last thing we add? What do we have to add? What are the water? All right, let me make the line. Water for one word. Water. What does water start with? W. You got it. Water. All right, we're all going to read it together so that way we have to make sure that everybody knows how to wash their hands. Get water. Show me. Get water. Now it says put on soap. Then we have to scrub. Scrub those germs off your hand. Yasmin, can you show me how to scrub? And then the last thing says water. <laughs> yep, and then you're going to rinse all that off with the water. <sighs> Great list making. We didn't add to dry your hands off with a towel. You're right. This is the way we wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. This is the way we wash your hands so early in the morning. Writing new lyrics to familiar songs is a fun way to play with words and develop language skills in children. Rhythm and pitch are important when children speak too. Music can be added to any activity at home to help support your child's development. And it's just fun to do. Here's one I've done with my own children using the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Let's clean up your breakfast plate. Hurry up so we aren't late. Put it in the sink and go. Turn the water on real slow. Wash it off and let it dry. Such a great help, oh my. You don't have to have an amazing singing voice to do this with your child. Just give it a try and get them to join in. Before you know it, they'll start writing their own lyrics and adding singing into their daily activities. What might they choose to sing about while putting away toys or getting a bath? What are other activities you can add music to? We had so much fun today learning about community medical helpers. Now we even made a list to remind people about how we wash our hands. Let's say what we do first. Get water. Put on soap. Ch -ch -ch. Scrub, Buff. and then water. water. Rinse it off with water. And then let's sing our song again. Ready? Okay. This is the way we wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. This is the way we wash your hands so early in the morning. So see you next time on Read, Write, Roar! This program is made possible in part by the W.K. Kellogg Foundation, Elaine Stern Foundation, Donald and Mary Kosh, Lauren and Philip Fisher, the State of Michigan, and by viewers like you. Thank you.